we are going to see how to work with this circuit simulator. The first thing that you need to do is to erase the sample circuit. So go to the circuit menu and click on blank circuit. Next, you can start adding the components that you want and connect them. For example, to check Ohm's law, we need a resistor and a voltage source. So you choose the component and drag the mouse to draw them. You can connect them directly, but eventually you will always need some wires that you can add the same way. So go to menu, choose draw and choose add wire. If you don't like this layout, you can delete any component by going to draw and then select draw cell to select it. Then press the key to delete on the keyboard. Drag a component to move it. Now we can stretch or shrink any component if we need it by dragging their terminals. Finally close the circuit again with wires. Notice that you will add more components of the same type every time you drag on the screen until you change it or go to select drag select. For example, if we want to include a switch, first go to select and delete a wire and second go to draw passive components add switch. Now click on the switch to interrupt the current. We can also add an M meta from the output and labels menu. Then we can change the value of the voltage source and see how it affects the current in the ammeter. To change the value of the voltage source, we can right click on the element, choose edit and type the value that we want. We can also set a slider using the right click on the element. Then we can choose the interval and slide to change the values. To sum up, we have seen three methods to change values of an element. Click on a switch, use a slider or going to edit in the contest menu. For example, here we can change the source from direct current to AC current. Here we can also change the resistance of the resistor. If we have a LED, for example, we can also change the color. And if we have a multi-way switch, we can change how many terminals we have. We can observe the magnitude values of our circuit like numbers in our screen, like here in the ammeter. But there's another way. We can also add a scope to see graphically how the value change with time. To do so, first select an element and then choose View in Scope in the Context menu. We can see in the scope that we have a sine wave in our circuit. There are some options that you can change here. If you have more than one signal, you can choose how to see them in the scope menu. They are now unstuck, but we can stack them or combine them. Now we know all the basics to start to do our own circuits.